Toyota Tacoma Beaver Step Mod. Well, good morning everybody and how are you today? Pretty good here, welcome back to the channel. That's right, today I'm going to do the Toyota Tacoma Beaver Step Mod. Now, if you've never heard of that, we're gonna unbox it real quick. I'm gonna show you what it is. I posted up a little teaser on the channel a few days ago and I gotta say, some of you folks out there are really good because from the little snippet I showed, you actually guessed what it was. I could not believe it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go in the garage here and uh, hopefully get a little more light. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's in uh, this box sitting right here. So, let me uh, point you guys down a little bit. Get all my paperwork junk out of the way. And let's go ahead and unopen this thing. Or unbox this thing. Uh, first of all, it does go on the hitch um, on the back of the Tacoma, of course. So it comes with a pen. I'll probably put a locking one on uh, a little bit later. But it comes with a pen and then a little clip here to hold the pen in. And then I got something extra. You know, a lot of people complain about um, hitch additions or things that you stick in the hitch rattling around and stuff. So I got a little device here um, to kind of tighten that up. And they actually call it a hitch tightener. Anyway, let's get this thing out. And man, it is, uh, it is rather heavy. Let's move you a little bit closer because I know you're going to want to witness this close up because it's just that awesome. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it out of here. Again, it is rather heavy, uh, but I guess that's a good thing. It should be heavy. What it is, is this right here. Um, it is a piece that fits in the back of the Tacoma, in the hitch obviously, um, for you to be able to step in and out. And for me, you know, stepping up into the Tacoma, it's, uh, it's a little high, especially since I have it lifted, right? So I'll be able to stick this in there and then you use this to be able to get in and out. Now, there's a couple of extra added benefits, um, actually, to having this. Uh, one is that uh, it's going to keep people away from the back of my truck, right? I mean, with this thing sticking up, I can't believe you're going to pull in and, and hit it, right? And if you do... Well, I pity the front end of your Prius. I don't know. It's going to do a number on it. And then secondly, this is also another recovery point because you can fit straps through here. If for some reason you needed to pull the Tacoma out of something, you can put a strap through here, any one of these uh, openings, and then pull it. So I like that too. I love mods that are like uh, multifaceted, right? They serve dual purposes. So kudos for this. Anyway, let's go to the back. We'll get it on. Obviously, putting it in is easy. The interesting part for me is going to be this uh, hitch tightener. Again, this is to keep it from rattling around back there, which I don't know if you'd really ever hear it, but why not? Um, it'll provide uh, less wear on the hitch itself as well as this piece, um, which means it won't scrape the paint off and start to rust as soon as it normally would. Let's go put it on. Okay, here we go. Got everything back here around uh, behind the Tacoma, I guess. And man, is it nice having a lift. I don't have to crawl around on the ground to do this, particularly for the uh, stabilizer or this, uh, what do they call it, hitch tightener here. Anyway, this is a pretty simple install, at least initially, right? Um, we have the beaver tail, I guess, the Tacoma beaver tail here, people are calling it. And I got to say again, this thing is heavy. It must be like I don't know, iron, but it, it is solid. Um, it's just drilled through, and otherwise, this whole piece is, uh, is solid. So I have no doubt that uh, it can take a lot. Um, as far as putting it in, obviously, you just slip it in the uh, receiver there and put the holder through. So we'll do that. Um, you can pick which way you want to do it. There's two holes, so you could put it this way, um, or you could extend it in a little bit further, like this. I'm not sure which way I'll end up leaving it, actually. Um, I don't know that I want it sticking out really far. I think probably uh, the second hole for me is probably how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to have to take a look at that and decide. Okay, for me, I think I'm going to put it in the second one. I don't want it sticking out real far. Um, I do still need to fit the truck in the garage. 
So we're going with the second hole just like this. Um, again, you just put the uh, little rod through here and put the pin through it. I will change this out, by the way. I mean, obviously, all you have to do is pull the pin and pull this out. And this, I like that. And, uh, and this is going to be gone, so I will be changing that. But for now, for installation purposes, uh, let's go ahead and put this thing through. Again, it's not rocket science. Pretty easy. Uh, that's it. If you've never seen one of these installed before, uh, the little pen here just goes through the hole on the other side, and that's that's it. So, not uh, exactly difficult. Uh, the more interesting part is going to be this. And the way this is supposed to work, got all your hardware. Does come with instructions, um, but you're supposed to put this plate. Go ahead and get this out of here. You're supposed to put this plate underneath here. Um, like so, it would appear to me. And then what it does is it just puts pressure on this to hold it from jiggling around all over the place. Um, it does come with uh, this little U-bolt, I guess you'd call it. Uh, that. And notice how everything uh, is in black, at least these pieces. This little bolt is supposed to go over um, the edge of your hitch area here. Let me get you a little closer. Supposed to go over this area here, and so far, let's see, I don't know if it actually fits. Nah, it doesn't really fit there, so I'd have to kind of pull this apart a little bit, so I may put it on the vise and do that. Make sure with the directions that I'm getting it right. Um, actually... The way they show it, you would actually have this out a little further. Let's take a look at that. You would have this out like so. Yeah, and it really isn't even enough room to do it that way, to be honest. Um, if you were to do it the way they show it, you would have it over like that. And then the, uh, and there's not really enough room for that. It's more designed, it looks like to me, if this were out more like this, then this piece would go over um, the hitch and then the plate would go around to the back like so um, and tighten this thing up so that it didn't bounce around. That's how it's supposed to go. However, in my application with this beaver tail thing, um, I'm not going to have a lot of room left over here to do that. So, with it all the way in, or even on the first one, uh, you can see here, there is a little bit of room, but I would be concerned that it would slide off uh, with all the jiggling around and stuff that the truck will do, uh, because that's as far out as it goes. So if you put this thing on this way, um, I suppose it would work, but man, that would be pushing it as far as keeping this piece on because I would think it will slide down. I'm going to give it a try and see because if you push this the rest of the way in on the second notch like I want it, let's do that. Obviously here there's no edge for this piece to fit over. So you can see that obviously is not going to work. So my other, only other option would be to pull this out a little bit if I can even do that. I can't do it by hand. Uh, and then slip it over this little lip here so that it's like this. Uh, and then this other piece, let's see if that will even work. Yeah, that would work. This other piece. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even sure that would work. Um, let me take a look at it. We'll see what the resolution is. This may not be the right uh, piece for this application. Okay. I, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a wonderful idea. It's a great idea, but it's a big fail in this application. Uh, there simply is not enough room to be able to put it on, even if you extend the beaver tail here out far enough, um, or as far as it will go, I should say, um, to maybe get it a little bit on the edge. Because I'm sure as soon as you tighten it down on that edge that slopes down, it's just going to pull right over and be useless anyway. So we're going to go for a ride. 
Uh, I'm gonna see uh, how much noise it makes. I could put some rubber in the inside of here uh, if it really bothered me. <laughs> Here's a railroad track. I didn't hear anything. Okay, here we go. We're turning on to the roughest road near me. And I'm going to be quiet as we drive this road. And you guys have a listen, see if you hear anything. Lots of bumps. Okay, that's the end of the rough part of the road. Um, I didn't hear anything other than the normal sounds inside the truck, you know, the leather kind of rubbing up against the center console or, you know, wherever it might contact something. Um, the normal suspension sounds, uh, the outside air, whatever. I didn't hear anything myself. So, so far, nothing. We're gonna turn around, come back the other way and, uh, and check that out with the window down. Okay, here we go with the window down. We're gonna hit the rough part of the road here in just a second. That's the end of the uh, rough road driving with the window down. Um, I didn't hear anything. Uh, no noise, no, no nothing. Now, full disclosure, I will tell you that when I took a pretty substantial bump uh, turning on to a main road just out of my subdivision, I was able to hear it. I did hear it once, it did make a clanking sound and I'm 99% sure it was that in the back, but that was it. Uh, during just normal driving on a normal road and even a rough road, uh, I don't hear a thing. So I don't know if I'll put anything extra on it or not, any rubber or anything. Um, I might just to see how it works. But even if I did, since I don't hear anything anyway, um, I'm not as sure how uh, exciting that's going to be. You won't notice any change. Anyway, I think it's a pretty cool little mod. Uh, dual purpose, really uh, triple purpose. One gives you a way to step into the bed of the truck. Two, it keeps people away from the back of your uh, bumper, or at least if they get close, here's another railroad track. Didn't hear a thing. At least if they get close, they're gonna hit that before they ever hit your truck. And then it gives you another uh, easily accessible recovery point off the back of the truck. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Toyota Tacoma Beaver Tail. I'd be curious to hear and let me know if uh, if you happen to have one and if any noise or anything comes from it and bothers you. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.